Ambido, when it boils down to it, is me wanting to share my love of string synths with you all. It has an incredible sound and an amazing collection of performance controls for you. Whether you're scoring films or creating EDM bangers, you're going to want to download this library. And the best thing, it's completely free. Hey, my name is Steve, composer, engineer, and lecturer, and welcome back to the channel. I'm an avid enthusiast for sampling, and I'd love to create and share my own libraries with you all for free through Pianobook. If you haven't heard of Pianobook, it's an amazing community that's built of samplists and composers. They're sharing sounds and sharing instruments together, and you can download them for free and use them in your projects. It has an amazing collection of sounds, a huge range of different textures and instruments. It's about over a thousand now, which is awesome. A really amazing tool, and I definitely encourage you to check it out. Ambido is the latest instrument I've created and will be sharing to the Pianobook community. I'm happy to be finally sharing this amazing sound and these really cool performance techniques that I've been working on. But before we get too far in and I start sharing some details, I have a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into the video, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel. It's a really quick and really easy and free way of being able to support me on this journey. While I'm just a small channel at the moment, there are already plenty of resources out there for you on music production, producing, sampling, and composing. There are plenty more topics, plenty more things to chat about, and plenty more videos on the way. I have new tutorial series in development right now, and there are always videos out every week. So, if you like this instrument and you like this channel, subscribing would be a huge benefit to me, and I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, so thanks for joining the channel, and now let's take a look at Ambido. All right, so I have a bit of a soft spot, a bit of a love for cinematic string synths. But it's not across any particular style. I mean, I love them in obviously cinematic scores, which are beautiful and they create such a great bed of sound and texture. But string-like textures in synths have often been used in EDM with the ducking effect, background textures in rock and pop, so you can often hear it there filling out the sound. A huge range of styles and a huge range of uses. Basically, the idea of this library was to share that passion with you and that sound so that you could use it too. I took my Waldorf string synth and my Otura Polybrute here and a couple of custom presets of my own, and I sampled them. They sounded brilliant dry, but also the amazing inbuilt reverb just couldn't be ignored, so I took samples from both. In the process of combining these two sort of sounds together, that's sort of where the idea for the XY pad came from. This way of blending these two sounds together fluidly, and then that opened up even more ideas around how you could control effects that way too. If you've seen my other instruments before, you know that performance controls are something that I put into a lot of those instruments. The idea that you could change or evolve the sound over time is, is constantly fascinating to me. So this library is no different. When I finally built it and put the sounds all together, oh, just, mm, it's just, it was amazing. I love it. And I'm really hoping that you will enjoy it too. But what does it look like? How does it work? Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at Ambido. So this is the GUI or graphic user interface for Ambido. Essentially, everything revolves around this giant XY pad. And essentially, this XY pad, always along the Y axis, or the up and down, will blend between the two sounds. So if I play a sound and move this one up, you can hear it adding the second sound, and that's basically the Atrua sound, then adding on the Wardoff sound as well. So this X and Y pad though can do more than just simply blend between two sounds. Over here on the right, we've got four different effects that can be turned on and off, and then be controlled by either the X or the Y axis. Honestly, when this idea came to my head, I was just like, that's amazing, I really wanna make this happen. So <laughs> I spent a lot of time developing this X, Y pad system and Coding it takes a huge amount of time, but it was all worth it for this. Incidentally, if you're interested in how I coded this, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be releasing a lot of videos that go into depth of what I do and how I create these. If you've seen my other libraries, you know that there are a lot of videos explaining how I created certain effects or controls within them. This will be by no means any exception. So if I want to, for example, have the X axis control some reverb, I can turn on the reverb, leave it as set to X, and let's have a look when I drag this across what happens. Mm -hmm. 
Now you have that control blending between adding the second texture going up and the reverb going to the right. And you've now got a system where at any point in that box is going to be a different unique combination of sounds. We don't have to stop there though. There are other things. Let's, for example, add chorus. And now let's add chorus to the Y axis. Now across from top to bottom, it will add the second sound and increase chorus. And across to the right, we're going to be adding the reverb. Let's take a look. So really cool performance control. And the great thing is that you can actually program this with automation as well. There's a couple of ways to do that. So the first way to control the X, Y pad automation is to use the track automation. If I press A on my keyboard to go into automation, I'm gonna turn the automation onto latch. And now when I play a chord and move this around, it's going to record the X and Y positions. So if we take a look now, let's actually open up so we can see both automation lanes. We've got the X pad control and the Y pad control. So you can see them increasing or decreasing at different rates as I've moved around. And if I play this back, you'll see that actually happen. You can also do this another way though. You can use some MIDI CC controls. I have programmed CC1 and CC11 as our Y and X controls. You can actually find some more information down here on which CC controls are controlling what. And also a little bit of an explanation as to what the XY pad is. Now you can see some MIDI CC information in there. And if I open up my editor, open up my automation and flick through, you can see the modulation one, which is the Y axis and modulation or expression as the X axis. That's CC1 and CC11. If you combine this with other sorts of production techniques, you can get closer to some of the more classic EDM sort of sounds. Adding this simple plugin called Duck to add this sort of side chained uh, ducking effect, you get something very, very different. Let's take a look. A really awesome effect and one that I use so often in music production, it's not funny. And here it is, able to be used at any time. You can do this, of course, with a compressor and a kick drum as a sidechain input. Classic technique, Duck just makes it a little bit easier. All right, if I turn off some of these controls now and set it back to normal, I'm gonna add in saturation because this gets gritty quickly. Now, at the moment, let me reset my MIDI controls down. I've got my uh, classic kind of stacking of sounds happening on the Y pad, of course. Going between those two sounds. Now I can add in saturation on the X axis. It gets super gnarly. And when you add both layers in that saturation, it's almost just, just noise at that point. However, if we use our ADSR controls to balance the shape of our note a little bit more, make it a little more punchy, we can get some pretty nice lead tones with this distortion. That combination of effects is starting to get to something quite interesting and quite intriguing for a lead sort of sound. But now you can actually combine it with a bunch of other stuff if you want to. Why not throw your own distortion in? Why not throw your own delays and that sort of stuff on top of there? So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what Ambido is and how it sounds and how maybe you could use it in your library. Remember, it's completely free. Why not just download it and give it a go? One thing to note is that you will need the contact sampler in order to be able to play this library. So do that, bear that in mind. The contact player isn't enough. It does have to be the full contact sampler. That is an incredibly worthwhile investment though. So if you are looking at getting a contact sampler, definitely 
investigate some of the free libraries that are on Piano Book for that sampler. Okay, so that's just a quick look at what this instrument can do. Along with the instrument comes a manual so you can dive in and check out all the controls, see all the settings. Also, if you want to see how I've coded this library, because it's, it's pretty interesting, you can dive into the script inside the instrument straight away. There's no blocks or anything, so you can dive in there and take a look and see what it's like. Sharing knowledge is my philosophy, so go nuts. So, I hope you enjoy this library. If you create a track with this library, don't forget that you can share it on the SoundCloud playlist and be featured on the page. It's a great help for other composers to see how this instrument can actually be used in the real world. You can also share a review on the Piano Book website. Let others know what you thought about this library. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel on your way out, but otherwise, until I see you in the next one, I'll catch you later.